Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we're gonna explore screwdriver technology and uh, a new tool that I just found. And I've never seen this one on the shelf before. It's a new iteration to my classic and favorite screwdriver right here. It's a new version, four volt. Streamlined screwdriver is lighter. It's definitely skinnier and maybe it's more powerful. That's gonna be a little bit tough to to find out, but anyway, new screwdriver technology coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys, here we go. Brand new, hot off the presses, Craftsman 4-volt powered screwdriver. It looks almost like a normal screwdriver. Versus this iteration, which was my favorite screwdriver for a very long time. We're gonna see if this fixed some of the problems of this one. Obviously, one of them was the fact that this one's heavier, right? But it's still much lighter than carrying an electronic screwdriver like this. It's about one third to one quarter of the size and weight of my DeWalt. It's not going to be nearly as powerful, but it will get into probably better, tighter areas. And uh, it does have a lithium battery, which you can see is dead. Why is it dead? <sighs> it's because Craftsman made the mistake of using USB micro. And those stupid things are so fragile. This one is not broke. However, I had a magnetic plug, like this guy, and uh, this connects to a magnetic USB cable, and then it charges. That way there, I'm not constantly plugging and unplugging from the port, which will break it. So unfortunately, um, I just don't charge it that often, and it does last a long time while it's charged, don't get me wrong. It's got one other goofy feature that, at first, it seems goofy, and then as you get using it, it just makes sense. And one of them is the variable speed drive, which is activated by this button. So you unlock it. Right here it's locked. You unlock the button, so now it can depress. And then as you rotate it with the gyro, the further you rotate it off center point, the faster it rotates in that direction or not, which was super nice. Variable speed on a screwdriver is really nice because also I like being able to go backwards to find the thread and then you go forward and once it finds the thread it then you can thread it faster and faster so it was it's still a good screwdriver it's still one of my favorites here but today I have this craftsman 4 volt and uh, it looks skinnier it works it's got two two buttons this time it doesn't have a internal gyro and it looks like this version is waterproof now I don't know what type of USB it uses to charge. Please, please let it be USB-C. Please let it be USB-C. Please. I don't want to get pissed off at a screwdriver this late in the day. It's been a good day. I hope it's USB-C. Anyway, it's 2024. Who the heck is still using other forms of USB? Okay, here we go. Here's the screwdriver. And let's see what else comes in the box. I feel that, oh, cool. So for $40, you get a package that's almost impossible to open. You get a, craftsman, you're messing up. I dislike you at the moment, Craftsman. USB micro. Okay. Might as well take it back to the store. <laughs> no, it's got a couple other cool features that I do like. I can tell right off the bat. I'm not going to take it back. I might give it away, if anything, because that... In 2024, that is a symbol of a cheap and ill-thought-out product. USB-C is the only way to go here forward at the moment. God, that irritates the heck out of me. So anyway, 
Let's see what comes in the bag. The USB cable that I wasn't expecting. Oh, oops, I glitch it is all wadded up. Good on them. It looks like it's going to be a three or four foot cord. I'm kind of surprised that it's not like a 24 inch cord at best. Oh yeah. It's um, about 32 inches, I guess. 32, 36. All right, not so bad. We have a series of bits. Okay, we got two different uh, flat points on the extended uh, extender right here is a USB. Or geez, I'm so upset about the USB. I just can't get over it. I have a Phillips uh, one, and there's a Phillips two in the bit kit. All right, in the extender, yeah. Here, how do we do? Okay, okay, not so bad. How's the magnet in this guy? Reasonable strong magnet. Hmm, reasonable strong. But as far as I can tell, the magnet does not carry strong enough to go through the bit to pick up screws. That's okay, that's just the extender. The chuck on this guy is something else. Here is where they improved on the old model. They have a chuck that when you grab onto it like this, you pull it towards you and it releases the bit. It doesn't spring load it off, but you have to pull on the chuck to release the bit. The old one, it had a strong magnet, that's for sure. But the old one, the bit would just fall off and it would fall off all the time. Like if I use an extension like this, which does happen, almost from the weight of the extension itself, it almost wants to pull out. So, I would like a secured chuck. This has the advantage of having a very slender body so you could get into some places without an extension. All right, I'll give them that. It was as slender as possible, I imagine. How many times has my bit fallen out on the screwdriver? Too many times, guys. And sometimes it's been in a very uncomfortable location. So, I dealt with it, I lived with it, there it is. The new one has a retaining chuck. Yes, and I'm pulling at it pretty hard and it's not letting go, so I see it's only got one retaining ball bearing. At least it holds, guys, at least it holds. So it comes with an extension and uh, six different bits. Good on them. Here's where I like that type of chuck. So when I'm using long extensions, which we do, sometimes uh, in some, some equipment, you gotta get at a fastener that's really far inside the body of a piece of equipment. <sighs> Take a look at that. Two push buttons, folks, two push buttons. And actually, I'm trying pretty hard to grip it. And the battery, the battery's on red, so it's definitely low. Yes, I should have done this video when it was on a uh, full charge, but hey, we unboxed it. The grip is extremely comfortable on this guy, and that is almost as compact as a screwdriver can get. Take a look at that difference. They both operate on four volt lithiums. This one has gyro motion. This one here has two buttons. The buttons are a little more intuitive than the gyro. The gyro, however, allows you to rotate uh, very quickly. There are times when I had it inside a, a piece of equipment and when I was in there, I couldn't rotate it in the direction I wanted and you have to rotate the whole body of the, the screwdriver in order to make it function. This one here, I can use extensions and not be afraid of it because they're not gonna fall off. And I can use the buttons. Very intuitive, my thumb's right there. All I gotta do is slide my hand forward a little bit, release. Seems to be pretty torquey, folks. And uh, right now, it says it's got, uh, what, 300 revolutions per minute. So 300 RPM. This one says 180 RPM, so it's faster. Okay. It is actually kind of fast. So this guy right here, it's a third faster than the old one. 
I don't know about the life of the battery yet. Well, if you press the button and hold it, there are two smaller LEDs that light up and the field, eh, it's not all encompassing, but it does light up the perimeter reasonably well. They're probably doing that to save as much electricity as possible. The old one had a large dingus type of uh, circuit board that has two LEDs and a type of Fresnel lens or so that spreads the light out. This one worked pretty good. Still going to be in my arsenal, but this guy right here is probably going to end up my tool bag, guys. Or maybe I'm going to use it right here on the bench on my Tear It Apart channel where we tear stuff apart live on the air and hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> anyway, guys, there you have it. That's the Craftsman 4 volt electric screwdriver. It's compatible with all your favorite accessories, like my Milwaukee 90 degree right here. Look at that. You gotta get it in some tight areas and it locks it on. Man, I dig that. Old one, not so much. And it's a larger, larger body. So there you have it, folks. I dig it, the new Craftsman. Watch me use it live on the air. Uh, we're going to be doing some live streams and some teardowns and pre-recorded teardowns on the Teardown channel. I'll leave a link to that channel in the video description down below so you can check it out. I'm going to be relying on this Craftsman screwdriver pretty heavily. I dig it. Thanks for watching, guys.